2008 uh, Chevy uh, Caprice uh, Holden Commodore. Uh, this car had been run with this guy uh, for a few months or one year, more than one year. Uh, he had been run this car for uh, preventive maintenance of the self starter, as the self starter is producing uh, abnormal sounds and also it is taking much more current 130 35 ampere something we noted and we are going to make uh, preventive maintenance on the self starter actually self starter maintenance is important because most of the people uh, their cars have bad self starter and they are not realizing this truth they are just going to replace batteries after one year and after uh, nine months or ten months something like that they are going to replace the batteries and then they are becoming healthy and wealthy that we just replaced the battery and the problem had been solved but it is not the case actually they did not solve the problem but uh, they are just going to replace the battery and with a, bad, uh, with a good battery, new battery even a bad self starter can do so this is not the solution of the problem the solution of the problem you must have to overhaul the self starter and preventive maintenance and preventive maintenance is due after 2 years if the car is stretching to the road for 2 years it's important that you have to overhaul one time the starter as preventive measure so here we are going to do the same thing with this car and you will see how much gunk is there and how much uh, dirt is there inside the self starter. Uh, the problem is actually with those people who are not going to serve their, uh, they are not going to maintain their self starter, sometimes the self starter is breaking up, while it is breaking up on the road they are in trouble. Then they are towing the car and it's another expense and then later on while they are going to purchase another self starter that is something uh, very difficult situation. So that's why preventive maintenance is good. We are going to make preventive maintenance on this, on this car. You will see how we are going to do it. Uh, here in this vehicle, as uh, this had been brought by the very uh, sensitive owner, as you can see, he is with me in front of me. Uh, we are going to make uh, preventive maintenance on the self starter. It is starting. Uh, there is some complaint. The sound, the starter sound, is not good, and. Uh, it seems that sometimes it is missing also it seems that it needs uh, preventive maintenance for that purpose what I'm going to do is first I will evaluate the situation because the guy is very very much sensitive and uh, he is quantitative as well as qualitative qualitative so I'm going to make his vehicle very in very good hands that's why a very good repair he needs um, for the purpose I will what I will be doing is I will measure the current for the tester for the starter. Uh, so here are two fuses which you can see uh, OD coil injector and the other one is EV coil injector. These two fuses 20 amperes of course here you can see um, these two fuses I will pick them up remove them from its uh, base so that it will prevent the vehicle from starting uh, and it will give me enough time to collect the reading for the starter. So for the starter I will have to put as you can see this vehicle has no battery in the engine compartment instead the uh, battery is there in the trunk uh, just I put um, on this wire this wire you can see this is the positive post which is coming from the battery and uh, this is distributing from here uh, the main, one main is going to the starter and uh, alternator and then the other one is distributing to the other accessories so from here just the starter cable is over here you can see uh, I put my clamp meter in there and this is of course on 600 ampere DC I put it on and uh, just I'm going to check the amperes for this and we will crank it and then we will see the amperes uh, for this vehicle okay so please crank the vehicle I uh, hope I will show you the amperes after making maintenance okay that's it so 130 ampere as you see on the camera screen 130 ampere something like that current it was drying the self starter self starter is of course underneath or here somewhere I will crawl down under under the vehicle and will find it and will uh, do maintenance on that of course I will remove it from the vehicle will do maintenance on that and uh, so many videos I uploaded for the uh, self starter maintenance uh, this will be one of them uh, it will be added to those videos and of course it will add value also so here I'm going to do maintenance on uh, for that I will uh, lift up the vehicle and then uh, we'll do maintenance on I will show you where the starter is and how I am going to remove it uh, here is the self starter for this vehicle I am underneath the vehicle as you can see here is the gas exhaust pipe and here is the uh, transmission uh, for this one transmission is over here this is the engine 
this one or uh, and uh, uh, what I have to do is you can see this is the special tool uh, which is a star type tool uh, for this uh, removal of uh, this self starter uh, just two bolts are there one I already removed and the other one I am going to remove using this uh, star type tool uh, 14 millimeter is the size so you need it a uh, special tool otherwise you cannot remove it so while it will be removed the self starter will come underneath and then we will remove the electrical connections and uh, wiring and then later on uh, the self starter will come off as you can see just wiggling and uh, just I have to remove the electrical connection otherwise it will touch on the top and will create problem for me here is the starter in my hand as you can see so of course we have to use the 18 millimeter as always I am using but not not sorry 18 8 millimeter sorry <laughs> 18 millimeter is very big so here just I have to keep it and put a little force they are dirty as actually muddy so that's why it's a bit difficult to remove them in first chance so same way like this and here also I have to do the same thing with the other one And next is I have to try to remove these screws yeah came off the other one yeah they have been loosened and then 13 millimeter I have to by 12 millimeter I have to remove this one because this is 13 this one was and here this one is 12 so I have to remove this one as well using the 12 millimeter. It is still hard because the stud is dusty or rusty. So this way remove it and then remove this connection. And here also I have to remove this bolt. And next thing is I have to remove these two. Uh, using, using impacting method just I opened these two uh, screws. They were very very much hard to remove. But nice is, as they are removing now. Without damaging them. So I just removed them and uh, put them aside. This uh, solenoid had been come off and here is the plunger part. So this will be putting inside and then this plastic piece, a rubber piece I have to remove. And from here I will just remove this uh, gearing part and this lever also. Everything is dry as you can see. The lubrication film had been broken down dirty also and here this part just we have to remove uh, these two screws so then the cover will come off underneath there there are carbon brushes we will see the condition so this cover and you can see lubrication is broken down over here as well so this uh, we will lubricate it and then we'll fix it back uh, here we have to remove it from this grommet and uh, carbon brushes you can see they are not bad they are just uh, good in size they will be reusable we are not going to replace this unit and uh, we will reuse the same unit and here is this part the armature and the commutator you can see and just we will clean this part and we will reuse it of course and here this part also we will have to wash it and uh, using my setup as you know Always I am doing this job, so I have to put my solvent 
for the solvent you can use anything regular uh, gas petrol whatever is in your hand or you are comfortable with or you can use and using a brush we will have to clean and this gear is also everything we have to wash them uh, this part we will not put this one instead this this we will clean separate and here this one also we have to put it in for cleaning and these bolts of course we have to put it them and this part also we will clean the this separately and uh, then the assembly process is exact reverse process I'm not going to show you instead in the end what I will do is I will have to show you the current and uh, fixation of this unit this one also this lever I have to put it for, for washing everything we will wash wash and of course this gearing part I have to put it in we'll wash it everything then we'll fix it so after the overhauling of the self self starter we are going to crank the car and we'll show you how it is cranking just listen and the current value as well okay crank it please so now it's cranking just listen and something 100 100 and 110 110 amperes okay that's it 110 amperes uh, there is a substantial change of uh, 20 amperes uh, 20 amperes current reduced so this was the achievement and now we are going to put the fuse ba fuses back over here in their positions where they were to make the car start as this has been come and start if it will not be started so the owner of the car as you know <laughs> uh, who, who will uh, save himself from him so just now he is going to close the fuse box okay so please uh, start the car let us see now we are going to start it but from the sound of the starter we understood that the job is perfect So now the engine had been started, it started well and hope this guy will be happy enough.